Let's talk about the diet for peripheral neuropathy. Now, what is peripheral neuropathy? It is a condition where you're experiencing tingling, numbness, or burning type pain in the bottom of your feet or your fingertips. And the most common way you would get peripheral neuropathy is by having diabetes. And so peripheral neuropathy first starts in the longer nerves of the body, okay? And it hap happens at the very end of that nerve. And what's happening is you're getting a destruction of the tiny blood vessels to the nerves. And the destruction is not necessarily coming from the high sugar directly or high blood glucose directly. The high blood glucose is creating a lot of inflammation, free radical damage, and destruction to the proteins on the inside of your artery. So it's going to clog this thing up. It's going to starve the blood supply to the nerve. Now, why is that blood supply there? To feed the nerve oxygen and nutrients. And so peripheral neuropathy is basically killing off the nerves. So we're getting microvascular damage. Also, it's happening in the eye too if you're a diabetic. But what I want to tell you, especially if you're new to my channel and you have peripheral neuropathy, it is actually very, very easy to undo this condition and get relief. If you simply, see this high sugar right here? Start consuming low carbs. That's called a healthy ketogenic diet. Start doing low carbs immediately. I am blown away how many people with peripheral neuropathy don't know this information. They're doing a high carb diet and they're on the medication and they're suffering so bad. It's completely unnecessary. This condition can be reversed. So you start doing low carbohydrate, especially if you're consuming high carbohydrates with protein, like most people do, or high carb with fat, like an ice cream, something like that, you're creating more damage than just carbs alone. When you combine a carb with a protein, you create something called glycation, which basically destroys certain proteins in the body that now become permanent. It's very difficult to undo that, and it clogs up all sorts of things, as in circulation. You also want to make sure that you have very low amounts of omega-6 oils in the diet, like, for example, the corn oil and the soy oil that's in the salad dressing. It's in so many foods, especially if you go out to eat very often because that's what they cook everything with. It's also in the soups. It's in the breads. It's in all that stuff. And then you also want to combine intermittent fasting. Both of those together will put you in really good shape. And I put a link down below of exactly how to do it. But there's three additional things that can help you get relief immediately. You can get these from the health of the store. Benfotamine. This is a fat-soluble B1. I would take four capsules a day, spread them out. What this does is it helps to lower the inflammation and the damage that's created from the high sugar. Because the high sugar in your blood has created a huge need for more B1. And so what the body will do is it starts to deplete your B1 reserves until the point where you have no more. And then you can't actually make the myelin sheath around the nerve, which is the insulating fat layer. So you can't make that without B1. So you start putting it back in there and things start to heal up. Alpha lipoic acid is another very important one. And even this on its own has been known to improve um, peripheral neuropathies. So you can take this as a supplement. You can get it anywhere. And also tocotrienols. This is a type of vitamin E that works 50 times stronger than tocopherols. It's a powerful antioxidant. All three of these together plus the diet with intermittent fasting would be a very powerful weapon against peripheral neuropathy. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. 
This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself and so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before